hey what's happening rise here on nelio gaming in this video we're going to be checking out cardo on the playstation 4 pro we're jumping right in all right so we have play settings and credits jump in with play <laughs> oh, she's going to move another piece. Oh, that's not good. Interesting. Oh, we know what happened to her. You see the torn edges? Alright, so it's basically like a puzzle. Okay, what do we got for movement? Left thumbstick. That's it so far. You can either use the left thumbstick or the D-pad. Movement. He's got a little, little backpack, a little backpack. Oh, I just heard something. Oh, it's this. Interact. All right, we got our map with triangle. Welcome, explorer. This world is yours to change. You can move any piece of the map. And rotate pieces as needed with L1 and R1. You can connect pieces with the same type of border. Okay. Shaded pieces of the map are lands you haven't explored yet. Go check them out. Explore the unexplored piece of the map. Okay, so pick up, move, spin. Explore. Interact. We found a new piece of the map. Connect new pieces to the existing map to reveal more of the world. Pieces of the map have been scattered everywhere. The more you find, the bigger your world will grow. Place and explore the new piece of the map. Okay, let's put it... Let's see, let's put it here. New pieces. Okay, let's see, how can we... So it has to be... Hmm. I get an idea. Will that connect? That may connect the land. Yeah, we may have a connection in the corner. Nope. What about this corner? Oh. So close. Alright, so we need to... Ooh, wait, this, this might work. This might work for us. No! Um, let's try again. Jeez. Okay. We're in trouble here. Um. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we... Can we do this? We can. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. That is awesome. 
Watch. So we can put that there. Now we can move this. There. This is cool. I thought I was done for. I didn't realize you could pick up the old pieces, too. Hey, who's this? Hello. Oh, hey there, little one. We don't get new visitors very often. Are your family with you? I see. Well, no matter. All are welcome here, and your timing is fortunate. For today, we celebrate the coming of age of my dearest niece, Chana? Chanin. Chanin. Yes, it's very exciting. I was so distracted this morning that I forgot my bait. But no matter, it won't be long now until the ceremony. Feel free to explore the island in the meantime, and I'll see you there. Um, have a look around the island. Okay. We have a celebration. Oh, we have a new pu uh, puzzle piece. That's right. Alright, so... Sure. Look at the little kid. He's got a little stick in his hand. Rawr! Who are you? Are you 15? Mama said I could... Mama said I have to be 15 before I can have my coming of age. If you're not 15, then how did you cross the sea? When someone turns 15, a boat arrives at the North Pier, a gift from the sea. The 15-year-old has to get in the boat and leave the island forever. I want to leave forever. That's like a month. <laughs> Cute kid. Another piece. Anything hidden behind the house? Some trees? A salty snack of minnows drying in the sun. Hi, sweetie. Where did you come from? It's exciting to meet someone new. I've barely left the house in months. This little bundle of love keeps me pretty busy. Did you meet my husband already? He's fishing nearby. Though he's probably not catching much. That big lug left without any bait this morning. I guess we'll just have to rely on the whims of the ocean, as we always have. Good thing this little ladybug likes fish. Not like that filthy little bus pot over there. Hey! Have you visited the other families yet? Keelan and her family were the first ones to come to this island. They live right on the sea. Tia is my sister-in-law. She lives in the forest with her family. Her daughter, Shannon, is coming of ages today. I can't believe it's here already. I'm sure everyone would love to meet you. Just follow the coastline and you're sure to run into some friendly faces. Okay. Grab some? Guess not. A jar. I was gonna see if I could bring him bait. No one's inside. I want my boat to be a lobster with enormous claws. <laughs> okay. So we have the start of the forest. This is pretty cool, actually. Okay, I 
screwed up. Um, let's see. Can I put this here? Nope. So the forest has to touch the forest. Okay, I get it. Okay, so now I gotta... This here... That'll work. Okay, we have another person. Oh no, you don't look like, or you don't look familiar. I must really be lost. I know it's a small island, but I always get distracted on the way home. The ocean is just so beautiful and full of mermaids. This is a bit embarrassing, but could I trouble you to help me home? You seem to know your way around. My house is east of the one on the grassland, along the sea. Now if I could only figure out which way was east. I think I live on the east of the house of the grassland. Can you take me there? Sure. This. East of the house on the grassland. of the grassland. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay. So I need to go back here. And then I need to do this. East. Okay, east of that. Or, I can do this. Still correct. Now, okay, that should be good. All right, so now he's home. Yep, now he's home. Force, so that means hmm. I wish you could also flip it.
Oh, yes, yes, this looks familiar. That's my house, and that lady it must be my wife. Wow, what luck! Thank you for your help, sweet child. Things get pretty foggy for me sometimes, but I'll never forget my own child's coming of age ceremony. There, there we were, at the mouth of the volcano, under a full moon. We were right here, dear. It was morning. Ah, so it was. What would I do without my better half? We miss our son so much, but he must be having such grand adventures. Hello there. Thank you for helping my husband home. I love him, but he, he'd forget his nose if it wasn't attached to his face. I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you from another tribe? What are your traditions? Our people are pioneers of the sea. Once we set sail, we settle on the first island that we find. We feel so lucky that it was this one. We just love it here. Have you met Shannon yet? She's very special to us. It will be hard to say goodbye, but we're excited for her. I'm sure she'd like to meet you if you get the chance. I hope we'll see you at the ceremony later. I'll make sure my husband doesn't forget. Lamb soup, yum. No one's inside. Well, where is Shannon? A molted wooden boat. said molted, right? Motled? Molted? Yeah, I think that's the word. Look at the giant fish scale on top. Okay, so now we need to go to the forest that we didn't explore yet, so... Alright, let's see. How are we gonna do this? Remarkable pile of dirt. I don't see anything in the trees. There's that little boy. What's he doing here? Lost. Psst. Are you looking for Shannon? He lives in a forest way bigger than this one. Look for the biggest forest. Hey, we just got two from the birds. That's cool. Any others heading over around here? Behind the trees, maybe? That's the first one of these orange bushes I've seen. Alright, we got two pieces now. Big forest. Alright, let's go here. We can move these around. Oh, now he's on this side. Well, that's right, because I moved him. Okay. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Let's go with... This is a good connecting piece. So it wasn't that, though. Wait, no, this is good because I can make the forest up north. This. I think this might work. So if I do this, then we could do... Thank you. 
Okay, here we go. Got an axe. Oh wait, Shannon. That girl. A woodchopper's axe. Take it. Might need it. There might be monsters out here. Monsters. Hey, wait. Um. <clears throat> Can I help you, kid? This is a private property, you know. Sorry, it's been a tough few days with Shannon. You're really, well, you're really very welcome here. Oh, okay, thanks. It is said that this animal dwelled on our ancestors' island. I've heard it's called a black bear or a bleer, for short. A bleer? It's hard to believe there are animals that big. I would love to see one. What a huge animal. You can barely believe, barely believe how big it is. But um, boom. A seashell necklace. Inside one of the glowing shells you find. A piece of the map. Nice. My wife and I built this house and everything in it. We're pretty handy. In fact, I'll even give you the grand tour. This is the living room, master bedroom, and kitchen. And we're done. Ho, ho, ho. Some exquisite clay pots. Where's the bathroom? Hey, it's a big forest. A bubbling pot of seafood stew. Yum. Maybe. Depends what's in it. Sigh. Shannon keeps saying that she'll return after she sets sail. But that's not our way. It's not the will of the sea. Once our people set sail, they must never return to their origin. It's tradition. I know, dear. That girl really boils my blood sometimes, but she's always done things her own way. I wonder where she gets it from. I'm sure this is hard for her, too. We just have to try and enjoy our time left together. Shannon probably went to the lake to be alone. Can you please check on her, young one? You seem like a good listener. Okay. Don't, lose, don't those leaves smell heavenly? That plant sailed across the ocean with me. A leafy plant with a delicate fragrance. Okay, so... We went to... The lake. There's the... Let's see. So, I'm on the spot with the lake. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I can just do that. There she is, right next to me. Sigh. I'm just not ready to leave. I know it's tradition, but my family is all I have. Why can't I come back and visit them after I set sail? Our people have that tradition for so long, I bet they've forgotten why they do it in the first place. Not all traditions are good, you know. Sometimes we do them just because it's what we've always done. Oh, I'm sorry. I just upset. I'm just upset. Thank you for listening. Who might you be? Oh, no. No need to be nervous. I'm Shannon. Welcome to our island. I'm about to leave it forever, though. My coming of age ceremony is today. I guess part of me is excited, but I'm scared that I'll be lonely out there. It might take me a while to make new friends. And adventures are always more fun with someone else. Hey, I'll go with you. Um, I know I just met you, but... Would you maybe want to come with me? You look like you'd be a good friend. Sure. <laughs> she nods her head. Wow, really? This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to tell my parents. What about your family? Do you need to tell them too? I, uh, hmm. Well, then we'll just have to go find them. Oh, there's one last thing I need to do before we set sail. Maybe you can help me. I always want to have my home close by, so I need a good handful of soil to bring with us. I just need a bit more time to say goodbye to the island. Can you please find some soil for me? You can find the best soil where the forest, the coastline, and the grassland meet. When you find it, can you please put some in this bag for me? Thanks. Alright. Items. Janet's bag. A small empty bag. The best soil... Okay, we already know that. There's only one spot like that on the island. Okay, yeah. I already found it. I just gotta find it again now. 
this is actually a pretty cool game. Like the concept is actually, uh, it's it's unique. It's I love puzzle games, and this is it reminds me of those puzzles we did as a kid. You know, the actual squares that you would have to move around, and I don't know. I just uh, I love puzzle games. What can I say? Where did I move it to? Who knows? I'm going to have to just adventure around until I find it. it. Shouldn't be far, though. It's right here. Scoop, scoop, scoop. All right. We got it. All right. Back to Shannon. stuck on some of the trees. Did you find some soil? The soil looks great, thanks. Hmm, and there's a strange scrap of paper buried in it. Oh, do you want it? All yours. I think that was the last thing I needed. I'm ready to set sail. The high seas will be no match for us. Shannon and Cardo. Shannon and Cardo. Woo! If you want to go get ready, I'll meet you at the North Pier for my ceremony. Yay! See you at the North Pier. Okay, so now we need the North Pier. I keep pressing the touchpad on the PlayStation controller. It just makes sense that we would use the touchpad. All right, North Pier, here we go. Hey, everybody's here. Let's talk to everybody. We made it. Just in time for the dog show. Ahem. Maybe, may I ask you a favor? Should give me a boat. Please take this memento with you. And if you meet my son somewhere out there, give it to him. The odds are low, but I'll take any chance I get to send him our love. Dog show. <laughs> dog show. <laughs> Thank you. I wish you great fortune on your journey. May the sea bless your voyage with happiness. Shannon's so lucky to have a friend like you. I will always love her dearly. Er, I suppose it's time. I hear that you'll be joining Shannon. That's very kind of you. Are you wearing a diaper? These fair winds should serve you well. You look like you're wearing a diaper, though. I'm really going to miss Shannon, who will help me reel the nets in. I'm so proud of her, though, and good on you for going with her. Whoa, that boat is awesome. It could definitely use some claws, though. Claws? Honey, look, that boat is Shannon's gift from the sea. It always feels like magic when they appear. Clamp, clamp, clamp. Hi, Cardo. I can't believe the boat really came. I guess I'm ready to go. What about you? Yay, nay. Ah. Let me know when you're ready. Do I have any pieces? I do not. Um. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. Let's catch this wind. Yeah. Woo! Let's get this ceremony started. My dearest, a parting gift for you. A necklace made from swordfish bones. May it bring you peace and perseverance, and accompany you day and night. My beautiful daughter. Lovely. Lovely. Close your eyes and feel the gentle embrace of the wind. May you find your destiny just as we found ours. We love you, Shannon. Thank you, everyone, for your blessings. I've come of age and the world awaits. We'll be 
right back. <laughs> Shannon, stop with that nonsense. She's just kidding, dear. Haha, <laughs> she's so cheeky. Say hi to the lobster. That poodle is talking. Farewell, everyone. We'll see you later. Hey, <laughs> hey. What poodle are they talking about? Poodle? I don't see a poodle. Come on, Carter. Let's ride these waves. What poodle are they talking about? I didn't find a poodle. Maybe that's what I missed? Oh, boy. Set sail. <laughs> There's a big old octopus. Two of them. Two octopus. Octopi? Is that plural? I don't know. Hey, we found an island. Phew, we made it. I still can't believe you'd never be been sailing before. You were a salty old sea dog out there, Cardo. I'll never know how you got us through that fog. I know tradition says that I'm supposed to settle on the first island I find, but I think I'll just do a bit more exploring. There's a whole world out there. This grassland does look nice, though. How about you have a look around and I'll check out some nearby islands. We can meet back here tomorrow, and I'm totally going to find that sunken city. I swear I saw it. Okay, that works. Yeah, caught. Where's the other island? I want to see if we can get to the other island. I guess not. Oh no, do I really have to go all the way back up though? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm okay. Alright, so let's see. Let's do this. Let's go... That'll work. Big hill. Oh, there's something here. Hey! Bah! It's a sheep. Alright, oranges? No? Thought that was an orange tree. Hey, a little kid sleeping. Wah! My sheep! Have you seen my sheep? I drifted off for a moment. My sheep must have wandered away. They can't get enough of those snowy flowers. Dad says that they taste like marshmallows. The sheep must have overheard. Will you help me round them up? Help me round up my sheep. He just... <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> he farted. What the hell? My woolly babies. Hmm, are those fluffy jerks ignoring you? They must really be into those flowers. They won't follow you unless you have something even more delicious. What's the most delicious plant in the grassland? Maybe an Auntie Ty Taya? No. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was the name of the plant. <laughs> Maybe Auntie Taya knows. She's a, a rhythm farmer. All right, we got to find Auntie Taya. That's probably the wrong way to say her name, but... She took off to go to look at the other islands. Got another. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Silly sheep. All right, let's see what do we got. All right, here we go. Okay, I can't put that one there. Uh, let's do this. Oh, 
Okay, there's three. Auntie Taya. There she is. Looks like Mo lost his sheep again. Typical. How can you be a shepherd when you're when counting sheep puts you right to sleep? And now I suppose he's asked you to round them up. Well, I bet they'd follow you if you had some honey fruit. Just don't confuse the honey fruit with the red devils that grow around here. We even have a song about it. Bulbs of red, sweet as sugar, only has one stem. Don't confuse it with the devil steer well clear of them. What? Bulbs of red, sweet as sugar, only has one stem. Okay. One stem. One stem. Maybe that's it. The yellow. Past her. Right here? No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah! He loves me now. Now he loves me. Now I got two sheep. Two sheep. One sheep. Two sheep. Three sheep. Bradley, you found him. Just three more to go. Veronica, safe and sound, you naughty thing. Only two sheep left to find. You found Silvio. What a scamp. Hmm, I don't see Penelope anywhere. She must have gone to her secret spot in the middle of the snowy flowers. Middle of the snowy flowers. I found them all. What the heck? I went here, found this one. I have no new maps. What the heck? Where could she be? I found this one. Oh! No, I found that one. One, two, three. Okay. Still only three. Let's see here. The only thing I could think of doing is maybe grouping them together. Like, maybe I can do this. I can do, let's see. I can do something like this here. This. I don't know. Let's try it. I just kind of moved everything around. I really didn't fix anything. Where could she be? One. Is she? Um, I don't know. Penelope, where are you? Yeah, this isn't fair. She's hiding on me. Um.
It's hard to see, but it's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. It's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. It's hard to see, but it's surrounded by snowy flowers on all sides. Which means that... I have to put an island with snowy flowers around it. There it is. That's it. Oh my gosh, that is kind of cool. It's just all riddle based. There she is. Come on, you little rascal. You little Penelope, you. Phew, you found all of my sheep. Thank you so much. You're really good at finding things. Maybe you can help my dad. He's always on the hunt for new plants for his collection. Come visit our tent and I can introduce you. We live on the other side of the prairie. Just follow the road. I'll meet you there. I just need to count my sheep. He fell asleep. Oh my gosh. Follow the road. Follow the, <laughs> follow the yellow brick road. I just saw something. Follow the road. Follow the road. Any fruit? What do you mean, follow the road? Well, heck. I am following the road, but... Let's see. What the heck am I supposed to do? This is a re this riddle is tough.
Well, what the heck? I don't know what to do now. Follow the road, but there's no other... There's no other part of the road. See? Yeah, there's no other piece to the road. Don't know. This is crazy. Hey, wait. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? How the heck are you supposed to figure that out? Wow. How would you ever figure that out without just like trying a random thing? I mean, he was the only, or, you know, that she was the only one jumping around. That's the only reason why I... Paper airplane. My dear sweet Cardo. Hey, that was quite some excitement. I'm sure you're scared, but my granddaughter is strong. Wait. My dear sweet Cardo? That was quite some excitement. I'm sure you're scared, but my granddaughter is strong. And don't worry about me. The airship is fine. She's been through worse. The people of this land are kind, kind of odd, ha, and I know we'll find our way back to each other soon. It's in our blood. You're far from my body, but you'll never be far from my heart. Oh, and make sure to gather any pieces of our map that you see. It will help you find your way in the world. Now get out there and have some fun. Love, Granny. Okay. Hey. Is this a different one? Every planet has its own rhythm. If you pay attention, listen. Gabuses. Packages. See, Gab. <laughs> I can't even. You hear that? They're already growing twice as fast. Now, quit interrupting me. Sorry. Oh, wow. All these people. Woohoo! This class is the best! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna become a master plant collector like Monkar. Shh! I saw laz Lazuli leaf yesterday. Don't tell teacher. Students, listen. There is a lunar lotus. It blooms in our moonlight and burrows underground during the day. Wow! This is bee bristle. It looks soft, but you don't touch it or you'll get a nasty sting. Ooh. Oh, hello there. Don't mind us. We're just in the middle of class. Are you looking for Mo? This is his usual route home. Just follow the curved roads and you'll see his tent. Sometimes he stops by the river, though, so you can't follow the straight road there. Oh, and please tell him that his sheep got into my cabbages again. Bah. Curved road, the tents. Okay.
Wait a minute. Nope. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So... I knew it. Okay. I thought so. Okay, so we got to switch something around here. We got to do this. We got to go like this. This is gonna be interesting. She said I can't can't be a straight road. It has to be a curved road. Bring me to the tent. So to tents. Great road to bridge. Okay. What's that? Another curved road. Curved road to tents. That should... 
Yeah, okay. Sweet. Let's talk to her and then we'll go back. Hmm. Don't interrupt my secret mission. I mean, uh, my regular normal task that I definitely can't talk about. Look, I really can't say anything. Just that I'm looking for the head of the river. We heard that a special plant appears there under the right conditions. And that it might be the ghost lily. But that's all I can tell you. Nothing else. I have to get back to the mission. I'm so close. Shh, I'm pondering. You go ahead and ponder. I'm going to go to find the tents. There they are. Nice. What an enormous leaf. You had better leave it alone. <laughs> Basket of orange fruit. Orange, you glad you saw some fruit? But a bum. Sacks of sacks full of flourishing flowers. Sex 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 full of flourishing flowers. Eh, that's not too hard to say. I thought that's what it, it was one of those things, you know? Things. If only you had an axe to grind. I made it. I tried to get some shut eye, but Penelope kept farting. Are you sure you didn't give her any red devils? Anyways, I want to introduce you to my father. He's collected plants from all over. Maybe you can help him find some new ones. He's just through the curtain over there. Dad is just through the curtain. A hearty hearth. A jar with a sweet fruity scent. A manting from within. That dad private notebook. Don't read it. Curtain, where might it lead? Interesting. I like it. Honey fruit sapling. A pot of simmering cabbage soup. Healthy. Mixed grass tea. It smells like everything. Welcome. My son, Mo, tells me you helped him find his sheep. My thanks, young sapling. Oh, don't be shy. Whomever comes to this grassland is our friend. My name is Munker, the Mighty. A mighty fine plant collector, that is. Wham! I regularly travel to other grasslands with my buddies to research plants. We also exchange seeds with other tribes so that they can grow every type of plant. We're always keeping an eye out for new species. Yes, just yesterday, we discovered a new type of rose. Now, if only we could come up with any other name for it. But enough about me. Tell me your grassland. What? Tell me about your grassland? Wait, don't say a word. I bet I can guess where you're from. I haven't seen a robe like that before. Did you come up across the ocean? The seaweed in your hair was a dead giveaway. Hmm. But which island? Don't tell me. I have an idea. Oh, Monker, you clever cactus. My notebook in the other room is a compendium of plants that I've encountered in my travels. Have a look at it and tell me if you recognize any plants from your hometown. From that, surely I can surmise where you hail from. Honey fruit sapling. You got Dad's permission to read his notebook? Lucky. Lucky. A thick mo nope mo book. A thick mope book. A thick notebook filled with handwritten notes about different plants. Dancing pines, they should sway to the rhythm of the wind, sometimes stashing into adjacent forests. What the heck? A sour po <laughs> potato. Only one can grow every square mile, having absorbed the ambient sourness of all surrounding plant life. False moss. Not actually moss at all, but a carpet of pygmy grasshoppers gooseberries they taste horrible and so on and so so many more a thick nope okay what did you learn wow lucky dad promised he'd let me read it one day well did you find my notebook 
Why didn't any... Oh, you didn't see any plants from your island in there? How is that possible? What exotic land have you traveled from? What manner of flora grows there? Such a curiosity you are. I can see why Mo brought you to me. Perhaps you can help me with something. A unique plant grows in each grassland, and ours is a mysterious ghost lily. Is the mysterious ghost lily. It glows with the most beautiful light, but it is as ephemeral as its name. Stomach growls. Oh, you poor girl, you must be famished. Look at me, prattling on about plants. Will you stay for dinner and bunk here for the night? We can save the plant talk for dinner time, or we can talk about... Not plants. Mo? Dad? Can you rustle up some dinner and set an extra place for our guest? Sure, Dad. In the meantime, can you do me a favor, young sapling? We ran out of glow leaf last night. I asked Ganga to fetch some from the forest, but he's been gone a while. Can you please check on him? I'm going to get some air in the meantime. I can't be away from nature for too long. So why don't you go look for him then? Oh, man. But, more tasks, more to do. Definitely, definitely a fun start. I really, really love puzzle games. This is just so well done. Who's this little guy? Pew! Or, pew! <laughs> this forest smells like Uncle Ganga. Yeah, this is, this is cool. I really wish that they used the touchpad for the map, and I wish you could, uh, remap it too. Or can you? Yeah, no, you can't. But I, I wish you could remap it to the touchpad. But all in all, definitely, uh, definitely a fun little puzzle game. I can't, I can't wait to play more. I want to see, uh, I want to see where it leads to next. If you leave now, the current progress won't be saved. Are you sure? Yes. All right. All right. So that's where I'm going to end my first look at Cardo here on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I do appreciate you watching on Nalio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nalio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So if I didn't mention it earlier, I was provided with a game key. Thanks to Humble Bundle Publishing. And I'm seeing here uh, a name I'm familiar with, Nick Sutner. He is, uh, well, you may also uh, recognize that name. That's because Nick Sutner was, uh, he's with the PlayStation Blogcast. And uh, a writer for the PlayStation Blog for quite a while several years so uh it's pretty cool to see the project that he's been working on and uh he it says here he's he's credited as as he's credited as the writer credited did he's credited as the writer and uh i think that's really cool so overall what a awesome experience so far i i absolutely love puzzle games if you're a subscriber of the channel then you've probably heard this many times i just i absolutely adore puzzle games uh, all sit, all sorts of different kinds of puzzle games. I mean, this is great. This is this is just. It reminds me of those uh, puzzle games when we were a kid. They were like some of the first puzzles you kind of got used to, um, the square puzzle pieces, and I don't know. It just it brings back a lot of childhood memories, and, and I don't know. It's just it's definitely more advanced than that. And you know, this crazy story that's being told about this girl that. You know, fell out of an airship. She was with her grandmother, and uh, they're able to switch around the, the land masses and the you know the oceans, and all from switching around the puzzle pieces. So yeah, the, the story is just over the top, and I totally love it. It's just so cute, and uh, it works really well. Um, they did a great job with it, and I'm just I'm totally uh, looking forward to playing more. And if you have any questions or comments or anything at all, uh, definitely leave that below. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing more and seeing how uh, Cardo's going to get back to her grandma. Um, so we'll see how this all plays out. But, uh, yeah, leave any, uh, any comments below and two thumbs up from me. We're going to leave it off there for now. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.